What's up guys, Quezzy here. This video today is actually made by my friend Instinct. He makes his own Cinema 4D tutorials and things like that over on his channel. So be sure to go over there and subscribe to him after you're done watching this. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll be back with my own tutorials soon. Thanks for watching, enjoy. What's up guys, it's Instinct here and today I'll be showing you guys how to make these render styles using three plugins. Those plugins are Tripogen, Reaper 2.0, and Proc 3 Derail. For this tutorial, I'll be using Quasi's Light Studio along with his Materials V6 pack and his Free Material pack. All those links should be in the description so you guys can follow along. Also, I'm sure Quasi will agree to giving this uh, project file away completely for free if we hit 100 likes, so go ahead and drop a like. Alright, with all that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial. Alright, so first off, what we're going to do is, well, we're going to hide these, obviously. And then we are going to get our AI. So basically go to up here, go to file and go to merge. And let's see, I'm probably going to use the SOAR logo, um, which is right here. And just click OK. I'm going to hop out of the camera by clicking this little button right here. And we're going to go to the SOAR logo. And we are just going to click this and I'm just going to center this real quick. So type in zero, type in tab and type in zero. And it should center it and now we're just going to bring it up a little bit like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to outline the logo with the pen tool. So just click anywhere and then just click anywhere again and drag and just kind of get like a cool like little zigzag effect going on like this. It really doesn't matter like what it looks like because it's all going to be randomized later. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. But yeah, just go ahead and click on a point and just drag to get some curves and just kind of try to trace the logo. All right, so once we're finished, we're just gonna basically have to do the same thing again uh, down near the bottom. All right, once we got our spline down, uh, we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna go to Reaper 2.0, click Reaper 2.0 and drag the spline in and make sure the arrow is pointing down and it will go inside the Reaper 2.0. So go ahead and click on Re Reaper 2.0 and we're going to go to radius and we're going to bump this down to 2 and we're going to bump the strands down to 1 and for coils we're probably going to do something like maybe like 70 and then for distance we're going to do like maybe like 10. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this Reaper by clicking Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V. And we're just gonna randomize this even more. So we're gonna go to like, maybe a radius of three now, and just bump this down to like, maybe like, let's say like 40-ish. And now we already have a nice effect with the Reaper. Um, we're gonna go and click two strands here to add some more variety and lower the distance. It's like maybe seven. And that is uh, already a pretty cool effect. We're gonna do this once more and we're gonna go with like four strands this time. We're gonna go with even less coils or more coils actually uh, around like 60 something. And we're gonna bump the radius down to one and the distance up to something like 12 or 13 ish. Maybe like 13. We're gonna actually bump this down to three and bump the coils down to like 50. All right, so now we have our spline effect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, and select all, hit alt and G and that will group it. And we can name this splines. Also, I forgot to mention, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, just gonna grab a subdivision and we're gonna put this we're gonna duplicate this a couple times and put all the reapers in subdivisions to smooth them out the splines. Minimize these and drag these back into the splines. No. Now what we can do is click these two dots and this will basically hide that layer. And we're gonna drag our pass out of the little sore group here, just so we have those for later because we're gonna need them and we can delete this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an extrude. So just go ahead, click here and grab an extrude. And we're gonna go to um, object 
and we're gonna change these to 60 centimeters. Uh, we're gonna change the subdivision to five. Go into the caps, change these both to fill the caps. And I like using 10 and two, and then tab, tab, 10 and two. And I'll put this at 10 instead of 100. And yeah, so now once we have our settings down for our extrude, we can just duplicate that one more time because we have two paths and then drag both of these paths into the extrudes like so. Again, select them both, Alt G, soar. And yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to plugins and we're gonna grab a uh, trepogen, which is right here. And we're gonna actually have to duplicate this two times because we have uh, two extrudes, but if you have one, then just only use one. Now what we're gonna do is drag the extrude into the trepogen and we're gonna do the same thing. And actually, we, what we can do is just put these both back in the sore um, null. Um, now this is gonna look a little wonky because these are the default settings, but what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna go to utilities and drag the reduction down to usually around like 2% or like 4% in that area. And we're gonna drag the weld to like 10 or something, like around like 10 or 12. Um, we're gonna go and put the reduction down even lower um, so that we don't see these little spike things and just keep reducing it down low and lower until you don't see these little spikes because once you get it higher, you'll start to see these like little spikes and we're just going to put it down to around like 0.7. Looks good. But just experiment with your logo. It's going to be different with all sorts of logos. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to object and we're just going to make the depth even thicker and the thickness um, a little thicker and maybe change the depth down to like one to get a nice effect. We're going to make this even thicker, like probably around like five centimeters. Now these edges aren't clean at all, so we're going to, of course, grab a subdivision, duplicate that, and then drag these both into the subdivision. And then once again, drag these both back into the sore um, null. Now, as you guys can see, what that did is it cleaned it up. So now we have these super smooth um, circles here and it creates a really cool effect. Now, if we turn our splines back on, um, we can have this um, effect now. Now, all we need to do is add the liquid effect and that is where Procktail comes in. Um, now what we're going to do is we're actually just going to take the splines from before, actually the extrudes from before. So just copy both of these extrudes. And what we're going to do is minimize this. So we're just working with the SOAR logo again. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab proc derail. So go to plugins and select proc three derail. And we're just gonna drag one of the extrudes into Proctorail. And as you guys can see, nothing really happens. Um, they're it's not showing up that well. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the luminosity up to 100% and put the adjust at 100% and go ahead and put the inner smoothing down to 100% and grab a subdivision surface Put this in there once again it will make it really smooth and you have these nice like little gels going this way now what we're gonna do lastly is grab a displacer grab a twist and put this under the path like so with the arrow pointing to the left this time and then we're gonna go to we're gonna click fit to parent and now what we can do is just drag this and get this really cool little liquidy effect here. Just keep messing around with it until you find something you like. Um, I'm gonna go like 57-ish. And we're gonna go to fall off and we're gonna select capsule. And once again, go back into this and just keep twisting it more. Until you guys find something you like. So I think something like that looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically duplicate this at control C, control V, and we're going to delete the extrude out of here. And we're just going to add this extrude into here. 
And then we're gonna have to grab the twist as well. So grab the twist, control C, control V, and just put the twist in like so. And click fit to parent, and that should fix it. You guys can also adjust this one as well if you guys don't like how it looks. So let me see if we can find something that looks nice. Um, something like that. Looks pretty good. Also, you guys can just go ahead and click this. Click right here. Alright, so if this is down here, um, it can be annoying just trying to rotate it for, like from down here. So what you guys can do is just click this move tool right here. Click this button and this will allow you to reposition this, put it like near the middle. Click it again and now you guys can rotate it from the center. And of course you guys can rotate this now, but I would recommend rotating it all at once so we have everything together. So what we're going to do now is just kind of group everything together, um, unhide everything. So once again, uh, select the bottom one, hold shift, select the top one, select everything, hit alt G. And now we have like the final thing. So again, soar. Uh, new style is just what I'm gonna call this for now um, Yeah So now what we can do is just kind of like offset things. I'm also gonna group that as well name this gel Now what you guys can do is start offsetting things um, Or rotating it in general. So like maybe Actually, I'm gonna Go click the move tool and just put this back up here like so. It's starting to lag a little bit and if it lags too much then just turn off your subdivision surfaces and then turn them on um, once you're all done. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this near the center so then I can rotate this from the center and get like a cool little angle. Um, something like that maybe. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like that. And what we can do is just start rotating stuff to off-center it. Alright, so I'm also going to go to the splines here because I noticed that it's just too chaotic. So I'm going to just go to the Reaper and I'm going to turn the distance off like a couple notches on each one. So like five and then like... 11, maybe 10 on this one, 9, 4, 6, yeah, and that helps out a little bit, it was just kind of too much and it just kind of all mashed together, now the logo is a little bit more defined, and this is actually looking really nice, so now what we can do is start applying our materials, now I'm going to be using the materials from Quezzy's pack. It is the free one and also the V6 one. The skewed material I believe is in the V6 and then the metal, uh, striped metal or metal striped is from his free pack. Um, so basically what we're going to do is just put the metal on the logo and also on the splines. So just drag it right on, um, click cubic and click seamless and then I'm gonna drag this down a little bit and, um, to get a different like position of the material. Something like that, I think it looks a little bit better. And then we're gonna hold control down and we can just drag and duplicate the material onto the splines. And then for the gel-like substance, we're gonna uh, use this material called skewed. We're gonna drag that on and we are actually gonna leave this one on UVW mapping because that gives it the gel look. If we put it on cubic, it gets this like different look and I just think it looks a lot cleaner um, when it's on UV mapping or UVW mapping and then click seamless. That's basically it. Um, I'm just gonna let this render out and I'll see you guys when it's done rendering. Alright guys, so this is what the final render is looking like, and I gotta say this is probably my favorite one that I've done so far. This one actually looks really good. Now there are a few things that I can fix and I'm probably going to do off screen just to save time. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial guys. 
Um, leave a like again, 100 likes, and I will drop the project file, including the Obey one, the Frostify one, and the Soar one, along with materials from my material pack that actually isn't even out yet. Along with um, Quasi's materials, I'm obviously have to get his approval, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind. So again, 100 likes, and I will drop um, the project file of all three projects, and yeah. Again, thank you so much Quasi for allowing me to make a video on your channel. It is such an honor and yeah, hopefully it will be doing another one down the road. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And if you guys like this tutorial, be sure to check the description and check out my other videos. I do a lot of the same stuff Quasi does, similar uh, Cinema 4D tutorials and speed arts. And yeah, that's basically it guys. Peace.